the much-anticipated Eurovision Song Contest is returning to our screens all around Europe. We all know it as an extravagant show with big stages, performers from various European countries. But have you ever wondered how and for what reasons this unique European show was founded? Before the start of this year's competition, we would like to present you with the history of its establishment. One of the main reasons for launching this competition was the desire to promote cooperation between European countries after the Second World War. As this war led to a fierce division between Europe, it needed strong tools to re-establish the geopolitical and cultural relations. One of which became Eurovision. The Eurovision Song Contest dates back to the founding of the European Broadcasting Union, EBU, in 1950. In 1955, at the meeting of the Committee of the European Broadcasting Union in Monaco, Marcel Benson, chairman of the Swiss Television Committee, proposed that an international song contest should be held and aired simultaneously in all participating countries. The EBU is organizing Eurovision and has all the rights to broadcast this competition. The first competition was held in Switzerland in 1956. Seven countries presented two songs for a total of 14. This was the only case where one country was represented by two songs. Since 1957, each country was represented by one song. In 1956, the host, Switzerland, won the competition. 